Welcome back to Pancakes and Pandemonium. If you're new here, I am Sarah and welcome everybody. You guys, it is hot. We have had a couple weeks of high 90s and even into the hundreds. And I know there are some states that it's even hotter, but that's really hot for Utah. But you know how it is. Just, uh. So last week I prepped just some really nice, cool, refreshing salads two pasta salads and a seafood salad to keep in the fridge for everybody just to kind of grab as they were hungry. And oh my gosh, it just made things so much easier. The only time the stove was turned on was for the pasta and it made the week so nice. So let's just get right to the food and the recipes so you can have them. So if it is crazy hot in your state, you can give yourself a break and make these salads because they're delicious, refreshing, and little to no heat necessary. We get there, give this video a like for easy. All right, you guys, today has just been, I don't even know. So we're starting to get some stuff ready. I am gonna throw together a couple pasta salads for the week or the next couple days to see how the kids do. I don't know, I keep debating turning this into a pasta salad or just leaving it because me and Gracie really enjoy seafood salad. It is one of our favorite treats from the store. We just really love crab salad with crackers. I am, I don't normally add much to it other than crab salad, mayo, maybe a little bit of lemon. I tried celery, other people like it if I add celery. Me and Gracie don't. However, we do like shallot, we do like tomato, we do like roasted red bell pepper. So I was thinking about adding a couple of these really sad tomatoes that need to get used up. They got neglected because of the whole COVID situation. So, you know, seafood salad, I don't know. It used to be a big thing here in Utah. As a matter of fact, Subway everywhere in Utah had seafood salad sandwich and it was considered like a local favorite sandwich. Now you can't find them as much. And a couple times I've sent Lance to the store for seafood salad and he's come back with not like a little deli container, but like a commercialized something or other. And not good y'all, not good. So I decided we just needed to make it more ourselves because why eat food if it sucks? So i to grill some chicken later. We're gonna eat some tonight for dinner and use it in meal prep for the week. Um, it's really nice today, Lance is off. I'm looking for a can opener, so give me a minute. I'm opening the can. That was an heirloom tomato from Trader Joe's, my last one. And I'm telling you, it smelled amazing being cut up. All right, Em, here, go drop it in here over the sink. Just? Yep, just, just go over the sink. So the other salad that I'm making is a salad that I have made for years. It's just a bacon and tomato pasta salad, bacon, tomato, and ranch. Do y'all remember when Suddenly Salad came out? So I loved it. And my mom would buy the one with tomato and bacon all the time. Mom, I think it's boiled. So when I was a newlywed, that was one of my staples. Hold on. Okay, I'll just set a timer. Anyway, so when I was a newlywed, those, I'm sure they still are available all the time. And I mean, we just ate it all the time. Shortly into our marriage, we realized that not only was it a great staple, we could add other things to it. And a lot of times we would add corn and tuna to it. Quite delicious. So as I've gotten more budget savvy and cook more from scratch, it's actually really cheap, especially when you're, when you've already got mayo in your house and you've already got pasta in your house and you know, stuff like that to just make it at home instead of going out and buying a special box especially for the quantities I'm cooking for I mean that just becomes madness this is a huge shallot and you don't want a ton of like oniony flavor in seafood salad I guess unless you like that kind of thing so I'm just gonna use a small end in this one, save the other one for the other one. For probably a little more than the price of a tub of seafood salad, we're making a huge bowl. 
it's just cheaper to make yourself. I don't know if you would necessarily consider these frugal, but these are a time-saving hack and they are not crazy expensive in the jar. I have roasted them myself, but I really like to just have them on hand as a pantry staple. Me and Racy are sitting here with these. These are Chanto roasted red bell peppers and they smell amazing. This is not necessary, although I will tell you, Kewpie mayonnaise makes the best crab salad. Although I am just on the line of, I barely like mayonnaise as it is. So I'm kind of like, if I'm gonna eat it, it's gotta be in the brands that I will use. So we usually have good mayonnaise in the house one way or another. Kiddo, tell us how it turned out. It's not a good fork. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we're gonna do the pasta salads i made that whole big thing of pretty pasta and it sat we stuck it in the fridge for a little bit did some other things and guys it cooks up really well and the kids have been snacking on it and we've bought fancy pastas before that have kind of a funky gluey taste so that's a good sign so we're gonna make one bowl just tomato and bacon classic and we're gonna make the other bowl with we're gonna use some Costco chicken we have that expires towards the end of this year so we want to get it used up and then we're gonna add some Mexican street corn so it's a super versatile recipe it makes a ton and I mean guys it's ranch so who doesn't love a ranch? We're getting them done. I'm working on the sauce. I had to stop and talk to my sister for a minute. Um, this is just mayo, a ranch packet, um, a cap full of apple cider vinegar, and like a splash of milk. I wouldn't do more than two tablespoons. You don't want it crazy thick, but you don't want it runny either. Now, anytime you're doing Mexican street corn, even like Trader Joe's, see that is the sauce that coats it that makes it delicious. So you've got to pop it in the microwave. All right, you don't have to get all of this like this. We're just gonna break it up a little bit before we mix it in. And then we're gonna cut up some tomatoes and add the corn. Hey, where have you been? I've been looking for you know and this is one of the few things i do not add salt and pepper to i just don't find i need it and with the ranch packet it stays lighter and fresher tasting if you don't add it plus there's salt in the canned chicken there's salt in the ranch packet there's salt in the corn so it's fine all right those are our two favorite pasta salads all right well thanks for hanging out with me today i hope hope you try those salad recipes guys they're delicious and come back there's more good food and of course there are hauls along the way and I can't wait to share them yeah I'll see you soon bye